Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eastiana and today I wanted to share with you some tips on how to make your home feel more cozy and inspiring. I recently posted my new apartment tour in Toronto, which you loved, and if you missed it, it's linked below. And today I thought I'd share with you some decorating tips or small changes that you can make to instantly make your space feel more cozy, warm, inviting, and lovely to spend so much time in since we've literally been at home for over a year, at least I have been in Toronto. Before we get started, subscribe to my channel if you're into decor, lifestyle tips, and travel as much as me, and let's get started. So first, I'm a big believer that we are all products of our environments. It's a lot easier to feel good daily, feel inspired, be positive, if your environment feels that way too. So whenever there's clutter or a mess, I instantly feel scatterbrained, a little more stressed, and anxious, distracted. So personalizing and customizing your home to be as wonderful as possible and tailored to your taste and needs are so key. And to have a cozy home, it really doesn't matter what theme or decor style you have or like, whether it's Parisian inspired, cottage cozy, minimal, or whatever it is, these tips will work and apply for any design. So I think the key to creating a cozy, inspiring, welcoming home is indulging and considering all of the senses. Let's start with touch. So you wanna infuse items and pieces in your home that feel good to touch. So if you hate the sensation of touching velvet, I'm sitting on my green velvet couch right now and I like the texture, but if you don't, you wanna incorporate soft fabrics and textures that you like to feel and touch and feel good. So rugs on the floor, you wanna have something that's soft on your feet and having just like wood flooring or tile with no soft texture to walk on anywhere can make your space just feel colder and more sterile and less cozy. So I have a rug in pretty much every single room in my apartment, in my bedroom, in the bathroom, in the hallway, in the living room. I also love wearing slippers all the time. I'm actually looking to add more throw pillows on my green couch because I find myself like always bringing extra pillows and blankets from my bed onto the couch when I chill here. So really anywhere where you would chill or sit down, you wanna make sure that there's some element or piece of fabric or texture, like it just feels good to touch. And so your skin when you're sitting there or hanging out, like you feel good and cozy. My next tip would be to create a reading nook. So. Pick a spot where you'd wanna always go to cozy up with a blanket, like on a rainy day, with a cup of tea and a good book. Even if you don't really read, maybe it's just a spot that you always go to journal or have your morning coffee or even scroll on your phone. Just having that little designated nook is always so cozy and you wake up excited because that's the first place that you go. It makes you feel safe and comforted. Mine is on this plush off-white couch from Article. It's actually one segment of a, a buildable sectional full couch. But I'm pretty much here in this spot every morning and night and the evenings with my dog on my lap and a blanket. It's by the window so there's lots of natural light. The next sense that you wanna consider when you are trying to make your home feel more cozy and inspiring is hearing or sound. So what does your home sound like? And this is maybe not something that you've thought about before, but sound can have a huge impact on the good vibes feeling of your room or home. So an obvious one, have soft music playing. I actually hide our Google home speaker in here because I don't like seeing messy chords or tech stuff hanging out everywhere. And I usually have some instrumental soft jazz or lo-fi beats throughout the day on so that there's an ongoing vibe and it's not just silent when I'm working or chilling at home. I've also linked below some of my go-to Spotify playlists if you want to check them out. Beyond music, if your place is echoey sounding, this kind of makes your space feel empty and sterile. It just means that the sound is bouncing off a lot of hard surfaces and you wanna add some soft textures to absorb the sound. And this is gonna make your place feel a lot more comforting and homey. So things like curtains, blankets, artwork on the walls, rugs, pillows, stacks of paper books and magazines. You don't need to clutter up your space with all these things, but if your space is like too minimal or there's too many hard surfaces, it'll sound echoey and just kind of cold. Next is sight, so this is a popular one. So what can you see in your home that uh, makes your space look and feel cozy? 
So long draping curtains on your windows versus say blinds. Curtains always add a soft element to the room. They soften like the corners and the lines. So if you have blinds and you wanna make your space feel a bit more cozy, I would suggest swapping to curtains and try that out. Lighting, this is a huge one. So soft, warm lighting. You wanna avoid getting light bulbs that are bluer toned or bluer tinted and absolutely no fluorescent lights ever. You don't wanna make your home feel like the dentist or school or something like that. The next thing that is very easy on the eyes and makes your space feel more lively is plants. So we like to be surrounded by nature, so bringing house plants, real or fake, can bring a whole room to life. I also like having fresh flowers in a mason jar or a nice vase. My boyfriend Alex just picked these up this morning and they'll probably fully bloom in a couple days, but they're instantly mood lifters. They're inspiring. Plus, plants can boost your air quality, so all around win. Having art on the walls, so if your walls are totally bare, this will make your space feel sterile and kind of cold again. Behind me I have this huge abstract twiggy piece that takes up most of the wall, and I also have some framed prints from this Canadian brand called Opposite Wall, they're based in Montreal, and they have an awesome collection of prints. I highly recommend if you're looking to add more visual interest to your walls. Again, putting art or photos or mirrors, any, anything on the wall instantly just makes a home feel more homier and personal and then smell so candles or incense or room fragrance maybe a diffuser with a few drops of essential oil something very light and not overpowering but when you walk into the room or your home and it just smells good it's just very inviting if we're really gonna do the five senses, there's also taste. This one maybe doesn't apply as much, although having good food or baked goods around your home, ready to go all the time, makes me feel pretty cozy. And the last thing that I think can transform how cozy and inspiring your space feels is having personalized pieces that hold a special place in your heart. So if everything in your home is just packaged and bought from a store or purchased on a cheap website and sometimes when you move in you need furniture right away so that's fine like you you get what you need but ideally your home starts to feel a lot more like your home with all the cozy vibes if you're surrounded by a few elements that maybe were passed down by loved ones or remind you of certain people or experiences and memories that you have like a fun day that you had out with someone in the city and you found this beautiful vintage vase or vase at a flea market or picked up another piece on your travels or even scored like an awesome find um, like a chair or whatever from facebook marketplace I have this glass coffee table that belonged to my grandparents and it reminds me of them and their home and it makes me feel close to them. Same with my dining table and my bedside table, though I painted them and, and updated them to my style, they still feel very personal to me. So that's it for today's video. I hope it gave you some ideas and inspo on the small tweaks or additions that you can make in your home to make it feel more cozy and inspiring to be in all the time, especially if you're in some lockdown type situation still like me, essentially. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will see you next video. Bye.